Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the condition for maximum efficiency in a DC generator. So subscribe this channel for more electrical videos and notifications. The soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. So we need to find the condition for maximum efficiency. So that efficiency is nothing but power output divided by power input. So first we will find what is the generator output, what is the generator input, then we will find the efficiency, then we will go for a condition for efficiency. So first we will find the what is the output, out, output of a DC generator. So the output of DC generator is V into IL, the line current or load current V into generated EMF into IL, the EMF generated inside. So this V is the voltage available outside after the losses. V into IL. So, we know that the armature current equal to load current plus shunt current. The sum of these two is the armature current. But the shunt current, we are assuming that it is very small. So, that only we have load current. So, we can take it as armature current equal to load current that is equal to I because the shunt current is very less. So, we can replace this IL equal to I. So, we have only one current that is equal to armature current or the load current. So, the generated output equal to V into I. Then what is the generated input? So, when generated input is nothing but so output plus losses. When the input is given to the generator, it will convert it into output, but some losses will happen. So, the input is now changed into output plus losses. So, by adding output plus losses, we can get the input. So, what are the losses available? So, now we have output is already available here. Output is V into I. Now, we, we can calculate losses. Variable loss plus constant loss. Variable loss means that is due to the copper. This friction and ion loss is the constant loss. That will not change it depends upon the current. But variable loss, copper loss will change with, the, with respect to the current. So, that it is called a variable loss. Now, we will see what is variable loss and constant loss. So, the variable loss equal to I A square into R A, the loss available in the armature, armature winding. We already discussed that, that I A equal to I L equal to I, right, there is only one current, that is equal to armature current and load current. So, that we can replace I A by I square, I square R A. So, the variable loss equal to I square R A. What is the constant loss? Constant loss is shunt copper loss and stray losses. So, these are all constant, with, it will not change with respect to the current. So, that is, is WC, we will take this is a WC, it is not variable, it is always constant, it is irrespective of the current. So, that we can find the generated input equal to output plus losses. What is the output? V into I, the output is VI. Then losses, two losses, variable loss and constant loss. Variable loss is I square RA constant loss is wc right so the when the when the supply when the input is given the generated that will be converted into output and some losses will be there so while adding output with losses we can get the input now we got the expression for output as well as input output is vi input is vi plus i square ra plus wc so from this we can able to find the efficiency what is the efficiency of the dc generator so the efficiency equal to output divided by input so output is vi voltage and current available at the output of the ter output terminal the input is vi plus i square ra plus wc so output divided by input we need to find the maximum efficiency condition for maximum efficiency when this efficiency will be maximum for what condition so this efficiency or loss is purely based on the current when the current increases the losses will increase so the efficiency is purely depends upon the current because the current is responsible for losses this copper loss armature copper loss so when losses increases automatically the efficiency will decrease so we will take this is this current as a important parameter to find the maximum efficiency. So, for on dividing and numerator and denominator by VI, 
we are dividing the numerator and denominator by the term vi in order to bring into 1 right so this vi is divided by vi the denominator also divided by vi so that the originality will not change so this vi by vi is 1 so here vi by vi is 1 i square r a by v i so one i got cancelled so i a by v here is as is as it is w c divided by v i right this time is splitted splitted into three so that this i got cancelled here here one i got cancelled so we got one divided by one plus i r a divided by v plus w c divided by v i now the efficiency term is simplified like this so in order to get the maximum efficiency what is the condition for maximum efficiency for maximum efficiency the efficiency to be maximum the denominator should be minimum if the denominator is minimum that is the loss if the loss is minimum automatically we will get the maximum efficiency so that we can apply the maximum minima theorem what is that maximum minima theorem we can differentiate the numerator denominator term with respect to current because the losses are based on the current so differentiate the denominator with respect to current and equating zero will get the condition for maximum efficiency right so what is the term available in the denominator one plus i r a divided by v plus w c divided by v i so this term should be minimum so that we are differentiating with respect to current and equate to zero why we are differentiate with respect to current the current is responsible for the losses when the current increases losses will increase right now we'll go for the differentiation so this differentiation of 1 is 0 constant so i divided i r a divided by v we are differentiating with respect to i so that this i become 1 so r by v for example dx we differentiate with respect to dx x equal to 1 similarly we are differentiating with respect to i so this i become 1 r by v r a by v so here i available in the denominator so what is the differentiation of 1 by x minus 1 by x square similarly this 1 by i is minus 1 by i square this wcv written as it is right so the differentiation of 1 by i is minus 1 by i square that is equal to 0 is very similar to differentiation of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square Similarly, here we have minus 1 by i square. Now, we will go for the further simplification. So, that r a by v minus w c divided by v i square equal to 0. Now, bring this term from left hand side to right hand side. So, that it become positive, negative become positive. r a by v equal to w c divided by v i square. Right. So, this v v got cancelled. r a equal to wc divided by i square right so bring this i in the in the left hand side so i square r a equal to wc what is i square r a that is nothing but variable loss what is wc constant loss so if the variable loss is equal to constant loss both are equal then we will get the maximum efficiency if the constant loss and variable loss are equal we will get the maximum efficiency right so the it is given generator efficiency is maximum when i a or i square r a equal to w c that is variable loss is equal to constant loss so for that what is the expression for current i a square i square r a into omega c for that we can find what is the current expression so that we can maintain this current the load current corresponding to the maximum efficiency is given as i square r a equal to w c so bring the r a in the denominator so i square equal to w c divided by r a so this take square root on both the sides so i equal to w c divided by r a so we can find the load current for the maximum efficiency from this expression i equal to w c divided square root of w c divided by r a so in this video we discuss about the condition for maximum efficiency what is the condition correspondingly what is the expression for the current so subscribe this channel for more electrical videos and notification the soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you